Oh, you caught me washing my Leica. That's right, a Leica. This is a new way to wash your Leica, but you should only do it with the Leica X-U camera. This is a new underwater, all weatherproof camera from Leica. And it's a blast. I've had more fun with this camera. They made it simple. They made it easy to use. It's it just easy. Watch this. Let me dry it off. Just takes a quick paper towel just to dry it off. And uh, it's on. There's no range finder, so you can't put your eye up to it, but it's a rear screen. And it, take a couple pictures of Chris. And as you can see, there he is. We can dip it in a bucket. Come out. And Chris is still with us. Do you believe that? What other camera on the market can you do that with today? All right, enough joking around. Let me tell you some of the nice things about this little camera. Very rubberized. Um, rubber so it doesn't slip out of your hands. Nice recessed areas for putting your neck strap on. I use the Peak Design neck strap where I can put the eyelets through there. It's got buttons down along the side. That's it. This is one of the simplest menu systems I have ever seen in a camera. If I hit the menu button, all I have to do, there's no sub buttons, nothing. I can just go down here and there's like six different screens. You pick the screen, you go over and you kind of make your selection and away you go. So it's quite simple. Uh, I work with it. It's a 16 megapixel camera, works JPEGs and RAWs. You have some dials up top here, unlike some of the other cameras, and I have it set to A and I have it set for single. You can do continuous too, so if you want, I can you know, do continuous shooting. I have taken this camera underwater and done movies. You'll see that in the review below. I have taken this camera and dipped it in the surf with sand. Wait till you see those pictures in the review. I have beat this camera to death. Oh, excuse me. I was, just wanted to rinse it off again because I could do that. So this is a very, very simple camera. Everything is kind of sealed in, so all the buttons are kind of extraordinarily simple to use. The dials are big, so if you are underwater and you're trying to make a switch, you can do that easy enough. Bottom line is, it's a 3200 and some odd dollar camera. It's an expensive underwater camera, but it's a Leica. And how many times have you been able to drop a Leica in a bucket of water? And by the way, when I say drop, this has a 1.2 G drop factor. Now, whatever that means, I don't know if that means I can drop it from six inches or a foot or a yard or six feet, but the point is I can drop it and I've had a lot of fun doing it. This camera passes the test. You gotta love it. Read the review below to see how well it does, but the image quality coming out, the simple files, everything just makes it work. So if you have $3,600 and you wanna go swimming with a Leica, this is the camera for you. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the Loomis Landscape.